I'm Rebecca Burns and you're watching Information Overdrive, video production information when you need it. The Canon C300 is very popular with our crews and clients. I'm here with Timothy Smith from Canon. What EOS cameras best fit into ENG style shoots? Well, I mean, EOS is a very broad line for us. It's everything from our SLR cameras to our C500, which is our 4K, more cinema style camera. So from a standpoint of ENG, it sort of has how you build it out, how you use it. Can you explain what dual pixel is? Yeah, dual pixel, we call it DAF, dual pixel autofocus. And it's a feature that's that's already exists on some existing cameras like the 70D, but it's gonna be an upgrade to the C100 and the C300. And it allows for autofocus, but a really fast, very accurate autofocus. So if your end user is looking to purchase, say, a C100, they'll be able to buy that with the dual pixel autofocus already on it, which allows them to do autofocus with our lenses, or they can bring it into a, a service center, a Canon service center, and for a $500 fee, we'll upgrade the existing cameras. We're also now announcing here that we're gonna do that with the C300s as well. So if you have a need for autofocus, both of these cameras will do that. It's extremely fast autofocus. The dual pixel term means that it's using an additional pixel not only just to determine the contrast levels, which is how we get focus, but it's also using that dual pixel to determine the distance to the subject. So it's very fast and very accurate. So is that a hardware or firmware update? Both, actually. That's why it's got to come into service. It's um, a little bit of a hardware, but it's mostly a firmware in the processor so that you can do that. And then we change the menu system so that it's an, uh, so that it's a selection you can make and things like that. Changes none of the original functionality of the cameras. You still have all the manual functions, but if you want to add autofocus to it, you can. We're introducing here a lens um, which is sort of geared towards the ENG market. We're calling it um, um, Cine Servo. It's a 17 to 120 millimeter range, uh, f-stop 2.9, with a built-in servo on it for handheld with a servo. It's a very um, intuitive servo system because once you mount it, you press one button, it calibrates itself very fast, and you're ready to go. But it'll come in a PL mount or an EF mount. So theoretically, you could put it on anything from a 5D to the C500, to an Alexa, to a F55, wherever you want to go in a, in a PL mount. And again, it's going to come in PL or EF, but if you're an owner or a rental house, you can switch out the mounts, have the mounts switched out, see so if you want to rent it out as an EF lens or switch it to an EF, you can, and back and forth. So you need, only need to buy one, and then you can, you can have the, the lens mounts changed appropriately. Do you know what the cost is potentially going to be for that? About 33000 33000 and you said it was going to ship in August? Ship in August, yes. We would love to hear from you, so comment on Cruise Control's blog, our Facebook page, Twitter account, and YouTube channel. Until next time. So where do you download Information Overdrive? Go to Cruise Control's website and click Podcast.